Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 5 Lesson 18 homework. So let's get started. Okay, place the two fractions on the number line. Circle a fraction with the distance closest to zero. Then compare using greater than, less than, or equal to. So what exactly are we doing here? So if we look at number one, we see one third and two thirds and a number line over here from zero to one. So that means we look at the denominator and we see three. So that means we're splitting this number line into thirds. So where it's zero, that would be zero thirds. And here is one third, two thirds, and one would be three thirds. So circle the fraction with the distance closest to zero. So the next fraction we see after zero would be one third. So we'll circle one third, and that means that one third is less than two thirds because it's closer to zero and two thirds is closer to a whole. Now let's see number two. So the, den um, the denominator is six, so we're splitting this into six. So we're gonna do one, two, So where it's zero, that'd be zero six, and here's one six, two six, three, four, five, and here we have a hole. So the clo the fraction closest to zero, one six is closest because it's the next one, it's the next fraction after zero, and four six is all the way here, which is pretty close to a hole. So that means 4 6 is greater than 1 6. Number 3, we have fourths and eighths. So what we do is first split the number line into fourths. So that would be 0 fourth, 1 fourth, 2 fourth, 3 fourth, and 4 fourths. But, so now we have to split into 1 eighth. So we know. 4 times 2 is 8. So if this is in fourths, we can split each section into 2. So now this right here, this would be also 0 eighths, and this would be 1 eighth. So 1 eighth is closest to 0, which means 1 fourth is greater than 1 eighth. All right, now number 4, we have 4 fifths and 4 tenths. So we're going to first split into fifths. This would be zero fifth, one fifth, two, and five fifths. And now for tenths, what we're going to do is split each fifth into two. So now um, four tenths would be zero. One tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four tenths. Um, be right here, right underneath. So four tenths and four fifths. Four tenths is closer to zero, which means four fifths is greater than four tenths. Now number five, eight sixths and five thirds. So this is one and two. So first split this into thirds. So one is a whole which is three thirds. So this is four thirds, five thirds, and six thirds. But we wanna split this into six. Split each third in the middle. This is a six, six, seven, six, and eight, six is right here. So this is where eight, six is, and this is where five thirds is. So eight over six is closer to zero, which means it's less than five thirds. All right, next page. For six, Liz and Jay each have a piece of string. Liz's string is four sixth yards long, and Jay's string is five seventh yards long. Whose string is longer? Draw a number line to model the length of both the strings. Explain the comparison using pictures, numbers, and words. So first we have Liz. So 
So here is zero and here is one. And we're splitting this into six pieces. So this is one, six, two, six, three, four, five, six, and six, six. So four, six will be right over here. And now J, zero, and this is one, is five, seven. So we'll split this number line into seven pieces um, so this is zero, seven, one, seven, two, seven, three, seven, and five sevenths. We'll be right here. So, whose string is longer? Draw a number line to model the length. Okay. So four sixths and five sevenths. Both, if we notice, the numerator is the same, which means both are actually not the same. But um, it's kind of the same because the fractions they both need two more to make a whole. Because five sevenths plus two sevenths is a whole, and four sixths plus two sixths is a whole. So if we Look at how much more I need to reach a hole. This one needs two sixths, and J's string needs two sevenths. So if we just look at two sixths and two sevenths, we know that if the numerator is the same, then we look up the denominator, and seven is greater than six, which means two sevenths is, um, wait, two. 2 times 6 is 12. Yeah, so then um, if 2 6, the 6 is less than 7, which means, but then we're looking at fractions, the denominator that's the smaller is the greater one. So 2 6 is greater than 2 7. But that doesn't mean that Liz's string is longer. It means that Liz's string needs more to reach a hole than J's string needs. So that means J string is longer because it needs less to reach a hole than Liz string. So it's closer to a hole, basically. All right, number seven. In a long jump, in a long jump competition, Wendy jumped nine tenth meters and Judy jumped 10 ninth meters. Draw a number line to model um, the distance of each girl's long jump. Who jumped the shorter distance? Explain how you know using pictures, numbers, and words. So, first we have W for Wendy. Nine tenths. So we're gonna split this into tenths. Mm. So nine tenths would be right here. And now Judy. Jump ten ninths. So we're gonna split this into ninths. Um, but then ten ninths isn't on here because ten ninths is greater than a whole. Which means we have to extend it here. So this is where a hole is. And then here would be 10 ninths. So 10 ninths is also equal to one and one ninth. So that's greater than a hole. 
So that means, um, and also you look at it, 9 tenths is closer to zero. So Judy jumped, oh, I know, who jumped the short distance? So Wendy jumped shorter um, because Because nine tenths is closer to zero. All right, number eight. Nikki has three pieces of yarn. The first piece is five six feet long. The second piece is five thirds feet long, and the third piece is three halves feet long. She wants to range them from the shortest to longest. Draw a number line to model the length of each piece of yarn. Write a number sentence using less than, greater than, or equal to to compare the pieces. Explain using pictures, numbers, and words. So piece number one is zero. This is one. Wait, hold on. Actually, I have to extend this. Okay, so five, six, we'll split this into six pieces. So we can split into thirds and then, so then we'll extend this because five, wait, actually no, we don't need, we don't need to extend this, what the heck? This is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six is right here. And now the second piece, is five thirds feet long. So we'll split into thirds. And now this one we have to extend. Because this is one, this is three thirds. This is four thirds. So here is five thirds. And now piece number three is three halves, zero, and this is one. So zero, one half, two half, and three halves is right here. All right, so, so if we look at this, it's really easy to tell that five sixth is closest to zero. So that's the shortest. And then um, piece number two is the longest. So our number sentence can say five sixths is less than three halves, but three halves is less than five thirds. So um, piece one is closest to zero and five thirds is greater than three halves. So, yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time, bye.